All for Geek Alliance presents Narration Fixation. I'm your host, Tommy Howell. We're celebrating the one-year anniversary of the All for Geek Alliance channel here on YouTube this month, and Narration Fixation uh, normally deals with interviewing people in the audio industry or whatever, but today I want to focus on people that uh, we've lost in the last year that have been a voice talent that I want you to go check out. There have been some amazing people. And I'm going to focus primarily on the people that you're less likely to know. I'm going to mention some more famous people, of course, but I'm going to give you bigger samples of people that are less known so that you can go listen to more of their stuff. So the first one is Vanessa Hart. When I first started Narration Fixation, I joined some audiobook groups on Facebook, and she was one of the first people that I noticed since she was offering coaching for narrators. Unfortunately, she passed away very quickly after that, before I could check out any of her offerings. I looked, and she has 69 completed books on Audible.com under that name. She could have more under other pseudonyms. Both fiction and nonfiction. Her voice has that husky smoker's quality, but she has good diction, pace, and overall delivery. And here's a sample. Who would have known that discussing terms would end up being derogged to a cabin in the woods? But it had. Even if she was not literally taken by force or against her will, roughing it was not one of the things on the top of Crystal's to-do list. Ladies just did not partake in such uncivilized things. Spend time together up in his cabin. That was another thing. If anyone had found out that she had been spending time alone with a man, her reputation would be ruined. Not that it wouldn't be if others had known she wasn't as innocent as some thought. So Bob Dion is somebody that I became familiar with um, shortly after <laughs> the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was a big thing. Um, he passed away August 19th from ALS, and a number of the Ice Bucket Challenges were made in Bob's name using the hashtag ALSBob. He and his wife Deborah started Dion Audio and the Dion Institute of Voice Artistry and Technology. His own voice is pleasant and soothing, but he seems to have made his mark producing and teaching others. Dion Audio has employed over 1,500 Hollywood actors at, for audio production in the last 20 years. You gotta get a job that you can work at. He goes, get a government job. I said, really, Pop? I want to go to school, and I like electronic stuff. I like um, working with recording things, microphones, and I used to play with tape recorders all the time. Another one is Chip Joel. He might be known as the vocal guy. He worked in multiple voice disciplines, such as character voices, audio drama, commercials, radio jingles, and to a lesser extent, audiobooks. I, Jimmy Boyo, follow Long John across the seven seas. We'll be finding adventure and treasure in every part. P.G. Holyfield was primarily known as an author, but he podcast his first novel, Murder at Avedon Hill. And so a lot of it is in his voice, and I'll play you a sample of that now. He died of cancer in August also. Uh, many fiction podcasts promoted his GoFundMe campaign to help uh, defray medical costs. So you might have heard the name uh, if you've listened to any of the fiction podcasts. Murder at Avedon Hill by P.G. Holyfield Prologue Greta The icon of Colin, child of destruction. Too much the heavens weep for the maiden lost, or nothing and everything, considering the cost. From the Second Collected Prophecies of Iberian, Book 1, verses 245-246. Speaking of fiction podcasts, Chicago-based Larry Santoro um, was a prominent figure in local theater, but came to be known to internet audiences as the host of the fiction podcast Tales to Terrify, part of the District of Wonders network. So here's a sample of him reading uh, from a local event. Cordelia and trees. She saw in the still water of the pond her silly, silly old face. No one else. That funny old face smiled up and she swiggled her finger in the cold water and Cordelia was alone, except in the trees. Leaves floated lazy, half on top, half under the water, hardly drifting at all. An afternoon, Air was cold and cool. They hadn't toward cold. 
Jonathan Cecil was a UK character actor known for narrating P.G. Woodhouse books. And here's a sample of one of his narrations. Chapter 29. I don't know if the name of Lot's wife is familiar to you, and if you were told about her rather remarkable finish. I may not have got the facts right, but the story as I heard it was that she was advised not to look round at something or other, or she would turn into a pillar of salt. So, naturally imagining that they were simply pulling her leg, she looked round, and bing, a pillar of salt. A slightly more well-known name is Steve Vixton, a writer and voice actor for Hey Arnold, the animated show. You'd primarily know him as the voice of Oscar, although he wrote many of the episodes, including the movie. Oh, hello, Susie. Uh, how are you? Never better. Well, I have to go now. Oscar, is that a suitcase in your hand? Yes, I'm going away. It's the best thing for everyone. And we lost several big-name announcer guys in the last year, like Casey Kasem. Now, how many of you know the show Scooby-Doo? Yeah. There's a character that I play on that show, the sidekick of Scooby-Doo for the past 17 or 18 years, and his name is Shaggy. And Shaggy would like to say a few words to the young people out there, all right? Go ahead. Are okay. you Shaggy? I'm Shaggy. Go ahead, Shaggy. Shaggy talks like this. The way he talks, Jer. Go and ahead. he's always talking about his good buddy Scoob, his old friend, his old pal, his old dear, dear buddy. Hal Douglas. Hal Douglas. Never before has the reality of the ultimate sacrifice hit so close to home. At our house, he is the known soldier. Sir Richard Attenborough. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, and Lord Mayor. I have a grudge against my brother. <laughs> the Vice-Chancellor mentioned a film in which we serve, which came to Leicester in, I think, 1942. And Don Pardo. Tonight, these four people need to compete for the prizes of a lifetime on... The Price is Right, presented by America's largest selling headache remedy, Allison for fast relief of headache pain. And now your host on The Price is Right, Bill Cullen. There were other actors who died this year in the last year or so who had notable voice roles such as Marsha Wallace as Edna Krabappel on The Simpsons, James Garner as God in God the Devil and Bob, Bob Hastings as Boris the Goose in Balto, Joan Rivers as Dot Matrix in Spaceballs, Mickey Rooney as Todd in The Fox and the Hound, Robin Williams as the genie in Aladdin, and Maya Angelou for her poetry reading in the Clinton presidential inauguration. Now, lest you think all we're doing is mourning the loss of these talented people, I want to shine a small spotlight on some people that are up and coming. That uh, these were these are names that uh, were pointed out to me when I asked about notable people coming up, as well as the notable people we'd lost in the last year. So, Fiona Thrale, she's written audio drama for Pendant Audio, as well as her own production house, Cooperantum Audio. She has a natural British accent, and is very easy to listen to. I pass over Alfred Inglethorpe, who acted the bereaved widower in a manner I felt to be disgusting in its hypocrisy. Did he know that we suspected him, I wondered? Surely he could not be unaware of the fact, conceal it as we would... Did he feel some secret stirring of fear, or was he confident that his crime would go unpunished? Surely the suspicion in the atmosphere must warn him that he was already a marked man. Chris Barnes has been billing himself as the voice of your darkest fears. His Scottish brogue isn't as overwhelming for American ears and might lull you into complacency right before the scariest scenes. He has done voices for audio drama as well as a number of books on Audible. Go check him out. Harry sipped his latest beer as yet another news update flashed across the pub's dusty television. A female reporter appeared on screen, enveloped by an oversized pink ski jacket and covered in snow. Good evening, she said politely, a slight shiver in her voice. I'm Jane Hamilton with Midland UK News. 
As you can clearly see, the 19 inches of snow Britain has witnessed during the previous 24 hours has left the nation's transportation network in disarray. Stephen J. Cohen has taken his background in the New York stage as actor, director, and designer, and brought those skills into audio dramas and audiobooks. He also teaches sound engineers and coaches other actors in accents. When the Panama Canal was first built a century ago, it unearthed scientific treasures, countless fossils and geological clues to Panama's past. But once the construction stopped, the jungle rushed back in, blanketing the land and concealing the geology. Now, the canal is being widened and what lies beneath this slab of earth is once again being revealed. Who else do you think is an upcoming talent in audio production right now? They can be a voice in a video game, animation, podcasting. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.